Holy shit. <laughs> this house is beautiful. That's more our size. Oh, cute. Oh, my goodness. This brand new construction three bedroom, two story home is 1,800 square feet and perfectly positioned atop a small hill to allow for great views. I love the, the shutters, the, the colors of the house, uh, the look of the whole house is, is just beautiful. I thought that was the house there sitting up on <laughs> the don't corner. Oh no! <laughs> but that is part of the property. All right. It is a rentable guest cabin and we'd probably go for about $750 a month. Oh, perfect. Can't complain with that. I'd probably end up making that into a man cave, seeing as how it's got power. <laughs> but that's something we'll have to argue about. <laughs> so this is the house. Lovely. And it's on 9.8 glorious acres. Oh, nice. And it's all fenced. Nice. Wow. So, you know, your dogs can run around here and Sweet. be safe. Even with a fully fenced yard, I'd still be worried about bears getting in, of course, coyotes, wolverines out here. You never know. Come on in, you guys. Oh, wow. I know. Wow. <laughs> the big, open, bright living room, that was awesome. The woodwork is beautiful. Lots of pine wainscoting. Lovely. It's got that woodsy look that you like. For sure. Got the high ceilings. This is a fairly new build, so everything's up to code as far as the R value. R value refers to the measurement of a home's insulation or thermal resistance. And in the Yukon, the higher the R values, the better. To have a house that's 20 degrees inside and it's minus 40 outside, that hot air is just getting sucked right out. Another way to prevent heat loss in a northern climate is to install triple pane windows. Do you guys know how to test for triple pane windows? If you have a ring, just put your ring right up oh, against yeah. the glass oh, and you see three, three images. That's cool. Yeah. That Marilyn, she's such a smart cookie. What rooms are on this floor? Well, we've got your dining room, living room combined. Yep. Your kitchen. Yeah. And there's a large bedroom down on the main floor as well. Oh, okay. And there's also a full bath on this floor. Is it just the one bathroom? No, there's another full bathroom upstairs Perfect. as well. Perfect. Right on. Yeah. I love it. Upstairs, Marilyn shows Ashley and Alec a four-piece bathroom with a sink, toilet, and a tub and shower combo. Could fit both of us in that tub. Yeah, we can. <laughs> All we need to do is add a second shower head and we're good to go. The possibilities are there. If you look through that window, that is where the view is. You could see the mountains and everything. That's nice. Living out here would be a dream come true. We could totally turn this into the man cave. Oh, easily. I can <laughs> see it now. So there are two other bedrooms on this floor. There's a very large master, and there's a second guest room. This is everything we wanted. For those endless Yukon summer evenings, there's a wraparound porch. Wow. This is great. This is gorgeous. That's the Kusawa Valley you're looking into. That's so beautiful. Kusawa Lake is one of the most popular recreational getaways for Yukoners for its lake trout fishing and camping. I can already see myself just sitting there after work with a beard. Sunbathing over here, this is like, it's unreal. I love it. That's exactly why we live in the Yukon, so that we can look at things like that.